what you guys got another video here for you now if you use cam nzxt's software to monitor your computer temperatures and stuff like that and you're having trouble uh, installing it because it won't open then i'm going to show you some steps you can take to try and get it working now on this particular computer when i try to install it i don't get it to run now i've tried the new version and the older versions and it's still not working so what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, show you. So we've got the older version here. I'll try and install that because this version was the stable version which was working for me previously before I upgraded to the new version. Now since installing uh, this software, I've had trouble trying to get this to work. It won't um, fire up. So what I'm going to do here is install it here. You can see it's going to be installed in the usual place. And it will ask me to restart and when I restart it still won't fire up automatically so I'm gonna restart but I'm just gonna say no here uh, for now until I save this video and then I'll reboot the system so I'm just gonna stop the video and reboot now as you can see here I've rebooted the system and uh, it's not fired up and it won't fire up for some reason and I've tried uninstalling it and it's not working so I'm going to show you uh, what we can try to try and get this working on here so inside here inside your C you can see there's a, a, a shortcut here even if I click on this it doesn't work and inside here we have NZXT I'm gonna go in here cam and you can see everything is installed properly and no matter what I try here to run it just doesn't run launcher now what I'm gonna do here is uh, close this off and we're going to use Revo uninstaller uh, to uninstall this so I've got a portable version of Revo uninstaller here so I'm just going to run this and click OK and you can see here down the bottom the program is not running so it's not running at all so what we want to do here is look for cam and uh, we want to uninstall uh, this program so you can see here we've got uninstall it's just going to create a restore point once the letters to uh, remove click remove and uh, we'll do the rest a little bit later so we're just letting that uh, remove the uh, program from there and we'll remove the rest from here after this has been removed Now this is a real known problem a lot of people are suffering with this problem I don't know why uh, but it's a real issue so I'm gonna go no here and I'm gonna go into ad advanced and go scan And you can see here now we found a load of stuff here so this is what i want to do so i want to definitely remove all of this stuff and you can see here it's gone right through and found a load of goodies in here that we want to remove from that system so we can go delete there we go and also what we want to do here is remove any of this stuff here push delete okay so it's gonna delete this on the next reboot just try that once more just to make sure okay so during the next restart these will be deleted and click finish okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna reboot the system I'm going to come out of here just going to try one more area here I'm going to remove this as all as well inside here system 32 and we're going to come down here make sure we're looking for tasks make sure we find that there we go 
and you can see cam inside here I'm going to remove that also and then what we're going to do is just quickly reboot so I'm going to save this video and reboot the system now if you're having trouble installing uh, programs or removing programs you can use this uh, tool uh, from Microsoft it fixes problems that's blocked uh, programs from installing or removing them so you can use this and it's a simple case of just downloading this and then running it it's pretty straightforward okay uh, but I'm not having that issue but all you need to do is click advanced and click next and it will skip search for what you're doing if you're having trouble on installing or installing you can click on this and it will then detect problems you can select uh, your program uh, that you're having problems with and try to uh, fix that issue now also I did run void tools which is everything and uh, search the system for cam which is CAM and also NZXT and there's nothing left on the system with that so I think Revo has got all those uh, removed next up I'm going to try to install the software so let's go ahead and install that so I'm going to go ahead and try to install the uh, new uh, version here I'm going to close this off click OK click next accept go next I don't want to sign up for their beta updates and we're going to go in here next install and hopefully uh, this is uh, resolved the issue click OK click finish and what I need to do now is reboot the system and uh, we'll go ahead and try that so let me go ahead and reboot the system okay so I've rebooted the computer and what I'm going to do here is go into the C drive here and uh, we're going to look for NTXT cam and we'll see if we can uh, fire this up so I'm going to go here see if this fires up yep there we go so we've got this going so we're going to go into guest mode here don't show this again continue in guest mode and voila we have it working so what we do now is now we've got this running whereas we couldn't get it running before we've now got it running and that's because we've removed every trace of this inside uh, the registry and everything else like that so that's what you're going to have to do search through and if you still want to make sure you can always open up uh, reg edit here and open up the registry editor if you are still having issues and you want to go through the whole registry okay and make sure there's nothing left inside here and you can go find CAM like so and search and you can see it will find it and also you want to do a find and then NZXT and then you do that and just keep pushing F free to go through until it finds all of them and delete them you may want to back up your registry by exporting the registry and making a backup if that's what you want to do I would advise you to make a backup of your registry uh, just to make sure in case something goes wrong but that's um, the way you can do that so what you can do here I'm just going to quickly click next here and we can see all this stuff dive in and you can see I've now got the uh, latest version running fine here and you can update and this should work now and you can see we've got our temperatures working just fine okay so we'll just take a look now we've rebooted that's my firewall and we should have this uh, loading up automatically now and that should do it there we go and we've got it loading cam and we're in guest mode and that should load up just fine there we have it and if you want this version let me know and I'll put this uh, version in uh, a download link so you can download it but basically as you can see here working just fine loaded up nicely and that's how you can resolve the issue where this don't open and there's a lot of people that are suffering with this so if it is then share the video link let them see it and uh, hopefully they can resolve uh, their problems just like I have anyway thanks again for watching guys hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, 
hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.